Amazing Things at Dollar Tree You Need to Get Your Hands On Part 7. I was so excited to find the famous TikTok makeup brush organizer. You guys have to get your hands on this. You can even spray paint this or even bedazzle it to make it look even cuter. This silicone scrubber says it's for dishwashing, which I'm sure it's good for, but you guys, you can use this on your body. This is totally environmentally friendly and great as an everyday loofah. Found a perfect dupe for the e.l.f. lip scrub. This is fragrance free and it works just as well. Here's a little Dollar Tree DIY that's super renter friendly. Grab a couple of these adhesive tiles from the Dollar Tree, then pick out a paint color. I chose this pink color because I had it laying around, but you could get any house paint. I get the sample sizes because they're super cheap and they last me forever for little projects like this. I went with a matte finish, but you could definitely do glossy too if you wanted. Then I filled in the cracks with white paint to create like fake grout, but you could do any color. This just matched my house the best. Then I sprayed this clear finish and sealer on it. This is just what I had laying around, but there's probably a better option. Anyway, here's my kitchen before and here's it after. I absolutely loved how it turned out and this is a great option for renters who want to add a pop of color to their kitchen but can't paint. Thank So you all have been loving the Dollar Tree DIYs, so I'm back with another one and this time I'm going to be using the Dollar Tree canvases. I'm going to take them apart and I'm only going to use the wood side of them, sand them down, and then we're going to glue them together. I used binder clips to clamp them in place and when it was completely dry, I moved on to adding Dollar Tree popsicle sticks. Now I spaced them out just a little bit so that this looks a little nautical and now I'm going to flip it over. I found these clothespins at Dollar Tree and I added them to the top. And if you want to see the original tutorial, I filmed this back in 2017 on my channel. Go ahead and add your seating chart or pictures and this is what you're left with. Be sure to follow me here, Instagram or YouTube. It's Jay from Jay Money DIY, and I'm going to show you how I transform these cute little drawers. Once you flip them over, you do have a plain drawer. I'm going to use the wood glue from Dollar Tree as well as some binder clips to hold them together while I attach these. You can do these vertically or horizontally. Just make sure that they're super dry before moving on. So now for the stain, I just used watered down brown paint, but you can use stain or paint it one solid color. To add little feet to this, I decided to use the chess pieces from Dollar Tree. I spray painted them gold and then did a combination of hot glue and E6000 to add them to the bottom. I use these tassel paper clips and picture hanging kit from Dollar Tree and I use these little eye hooks that it had, opened them up and then added my tassel on there and this is what I'm going to use as a cute little handle. I added a small pilot hole, screwed them in and this is what I'm left with. Be sure to follow me here, Instagram or YouTube for more.
Sassy, bougie, ratchet, yeah. Sassy, moody, nasty, yeah. Hacking, stupid, what was happening? Bitch, what was happening? Bitch, I'm a snake. Dollar Tree DIY. So I saw this really cool Dollar Tree DIY with the napkin holders and the paper towel holder. That in the end result, it's like a paint holder, which I thought was really cool. Um, in this video, I ended up using zip ties to put the paper napkin holders together and connect it to the paper towel holder. And right here is the final result. It's actually pretty cool. So I ended up putting paint on it just to see if it holds. And guys, it holds. I love it. How cool is that? Hey y'all, so I saw this girl on TikTok make this DIY ring light from Dollar Tree. So I wanted to try it. So I went to Dollar Tree and got everything I needed. I needed AAA batteries, a paper towel holder, LED lights, and that little foam green thingy thingy. So I unpackaged everything and I started to get to it. So I put in the batteries first and then I turned on the light and it was real bright. I already knew that because I made a vanity mirror from Dollar Tree before. Watch that video. I put in the thing. You don't need hot glue gun because it's, 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 yeah, you, you don't really need it. But I ended up putting it on and then I put on the lights and then I turned on the lights. It looks like an alien wand, like something that alien would use. But it was really, really bright, like bright as a diamond, like for real. I like want some Rihanna stuff, like, so then I, I, I you see, this is how my hair look and that like. Things from the Dollar Tree that I use in my everyday business, part six. This food chopper is an awesome dupe to the Cricut scraper. Just add a little bit of masking tape to the end so it's not as rough. And another good thing, it's almost two inches wider than the Cricut scraper. If you use this, let me know. Hey everyone, I'm Jay from J Money DIY, and I'm going to show you how I take some Dollar Tree items and turn them into something super practical. So I'm going to get some rulers and these little crates. So now that I have two crates, I'm going to bind them together using wood glue, which I did find at Dollar Tree, but you can use whatever wood glue, and then I'm going to clamp them together till they dry. So once they're dry, I'm going to take the clamps off and I'm going to create a little shelf using my ruler. Just go ahead and remove those strips. Now you're going to make your mark, you're going to cut it down, and don't throw out the rest of the ruler, we will be using this. And attach using the wood glue. Now you're going to flip this over, and with that little piece right there, just so that this slants, you're going to take the back of a picture frame. This picture frame is from Dollar Tree. I hot glued it to the back, then I hot glued the rest of my little ruler to that so that this can stand. Now check this out. Be sure to follow me here or on YouTube for more.
Dollar Tree DIY finds. They had these display easels, but even after trying to bend them, they didn't work very well. We had one inside the house from Hobby Lobby and that one worked perfect, so we'll just have to go grab some more. We also found these, they're five by sevens. I created this on Photoshop again, sorry guys, and used the Sharpie pen. It says spread love, not germs, and it'll go with the hand sanitizer mask that we're providing. I then put one of my favorite engagement photos of us on there. And then for the next one, it's gonna be where the guest book is. I choose the font Bromello because that's what the welcome sign is in. But I think the photo that I used was too light of a background because the guest book part didn't really stand out enough. So then I tried to outline it with blue, but then it started looking like goosebumps. And those Sharpie pens really do work. So we had to go back to Dollar Tree and get another one. I chose a skinnier font so that you could see more of the photo as well as chose a photo with a darker background. And then I actually printed it in an eight by 10 instead of a five by seven so that I could control more where the text would go. Once I cut it out and slid it in, this is what it Hey everyone, I'm Jay from J Money DIY and I'm gonna show you how I take some Dollar Tree items and turn them into something super practical. So I'm gonna get some rulers and these little crates. So now that I have two crates, I'm going to bind them together using wood glue, which I did find at Dollar Tree, but you can use whatever wood glue, and then I'm going to clamp them together until they dry. So once they're dry, I'm going to take the clamps off and I'm going to create a little shelf using my ruler. Just go ahead and remove those strips. Now you're going to make your mark, you're going to cut it down, and don't throw out the rest of the ruler, we will be using this, and attach using the wood glue. Now you're going to flip this over and with that little piece right there, just so that this slants, you're going to take the back of a picture frame. This picture frame is from Dollar Tree. I hot glued it to the back. Then I hot glued the rest of my little ruler to that so that this can stand. Now check this out. Be sure to follow me here or on YouTube for more Dollar Hi everyone. So here on TikTok, I saw this one girl that was raving about this gel whitening pen and I wanted to see if my Dollar Tree had it in stock. So I came out to see and they did. I got two just to save everyone else to try it out. And here I am purchasing social distancing, of course, the gel whitening pen for only one dollar. Y'all have to go and at least see if your Dollar Tree has this to try it out for one dollar. And so I started applying this to my top teeth after I brushed, flossed, and rinsed, of course, and I left it on for about 30 minutes. It foamed up, and this is my finished result. Hope you guys enjoy the video. So you'll need nine mini storage bins, and you'll put them together by doing zip ties. So I did four for each row of three, now I'm putting one to attach the top row of three <laughs> then I'm doing that for the next row of three and then I'm cutting them and I did end up spray painting it black but the measurements I'll leave here on the screen and here it is all cut up I use foam board to cut out the pieces then I use some old contact paper that I had laying around for about a year <laughs> And I'm tucking it under and then I'm cutting off the access so it'll lay flat. I'm taking my E6000, putting that on the knobs at the top and then putting something heavy on it so it'll set. And then I'm gluing all four corners of the bin <laughs> and placing that in there. And here it is. Hi y'all, so I went to Dollar Tree and I found this glitter adhesive paper. And then y'all remember when I did that Louis Vuitton decal wall thing and a lot of people didn't like it because... I rushed it so I'm doing it again because I want to prove myself I want to redeem myself so basically what I did I wanted to compare the two because I really don't know which one I want to do because I'm actually putting this on my new wall in my new place um, but I don't know which one I want to do so I did both of them so I cut out the wallpaper and I cut out this glitter adhesive of paper it was pretty easy I don't have that little machine if you want to cash at me some money so I can pay $500 for everything that I want just do it but yeah this is how it turned out i really need y'all opinions because i don't know which one i want to put in my room but yeah